In today's episode on the Dive Saga channel, we are diving into the mysterious and fascinating world of sea sponges. These fascinating creatures have been around for millions of years and play a crucial role in our ocean's ecosystem. So grab your gear and let's jump in. We find ourselves once again in my backyard as we cruise through the waters of Utila in the Bay Islands of Honduras. The weather isn't great today, but that won't stop us. The otherwise warm waters and beautiful coral reefs are the perfect location to encounter the superstars of today's episode. When thinking about scuba diving with ocean creatures, most of us think about fish, invertebrates or maybe corals, but rarely do we imagine sea sponges. Sounds like it's high time to spend some underwater quality time with an unlikely friend. Scientists have identified about 8,500 sponge species, but they believe there may be as many as 25,000. If we compare that to the 6,000 or so coral species, that's mind-blowing. Sponges come in a variety of shapes. Tube sponges have long cylindrical structures that are hollow, some of which can grow up to 5 feet in length. Barrel sponges comprise 95% of all sponge species. The giant barrel sponge is the most common and can grow large enough to fit a human being inside. Rope sponges, on the other hand, have tree-like curved branches. Sea sponges are fascinating creatures that have been around for millions of years. They are simple yet complex and play a crucial role in our ocean's ecosystem. Sea sponges are one of the world's simplest multicellular living organisms. In a nutshell, sea sponges are considered animals, not plants as you may expect. But they grow, reproduce and survive very much as plants do. They have no central nervous system, no digestive system or circulatory system and no organs. They're a type of invertebrate and belong to the phylum Porifera, which means pore bearing species. As the name suggests, sea sponges have many small pores all over their body, which they use to filter water. This water is then used to obtain food, oxygen and to remove waste. Sea sponges feed on tiny plankton and bacteria that are filtered from this water. They're considered to be the ocean's natural filters as they play an important role in cleaning the water and maintaining a healthy ecosystem. Not only are sea sponges beautiful to look at, but they are also incredibly strong. Some sea sponges can survive in harsh conditions and can live for hundreds of years. Sponges have been harvested very aggressively by humans in the past few centuries, and that's because sponges make great sponges. These days, however, most washing sponges are made of synthetic material. And that's for good reason, because it turns out we really need a healthy sponge population in our oceans. Sea sponges are also an important source of food for many marine animals, such as sea urchins, starfish and some species of fish. With the decline of corals, sponges have become the main habitat forming organisms on many Caribbean reefs. They can provide shelter for marine animals such as this brittle star and this banded coral shrimp. Sponges have also been used for various purposes throughout human history. Ancient Greeks used sponges for cleaning while the ancient Egyptians used them for wound healing. 
sponges have also been used in cosmetics as they are known to have a softening and moisturizing effect on the skin. Most bioactive compounds from sponges can be classified as anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, immunosuppressive, neurosuppressive, antiviral, anti-malarial, antibiotic or anti-fouling. That means sponges have the potential to help us create drugs against a variety of important diseases such as cancers, inflammations, viral diseases and malaria. The chemical diversity of sponge products is truly remarkable. On this one particular dive site here in Utila, we encounter giant barrel sponges that are several feet in diameter. On average, the giant barrel sponge only grows about 1.5 centimeters or half an inch per year. It can take up to a hundred years for sponges to reach the size we are seeing here. Unfortunately, sea sponges are facing many threats, including pollution, overfishing and climate change. As the ocean temperatures rise, many species of sea sponges are struggling to adapt and survive. And that's why it's important for us to learn about, protect and conserve these incredible creatures. I've noticed that there's a bunch of new subscribers to the Saga channel since our last video upload and I want to thank each and every one of you as well as our existing subscribers. However, subscribers only make up about 10% or so of our viewers. So if you're not subscribed to the Saga channel, you can do that right now. If you click the bell icon, you also get a notification about every two weeks when we upload a new video like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.